today's top stories, we found Robert Pattinson's hideout spot, Taylor Swift has a new bow, and drama at the Olympics, yay! Hello everyone, welcome to Hollywood Chatter, I'm your host Maddie, so let's get started. It's been a little over a week since news broke of Kristen Stewart's affair with her Snow White and the Huntsman director Rupert Sanders, but we've still yet to hear from Robert Pattinson. Now we're finding out that R. Pats has been staying at his Water for Elephants co-star Reese Witherspoon's amazing vacation home in Ojai, California. Vacation home is probably not the best way to describe it, though. Witherspoon's seven-acre ranch has a swimming pool, a horse barn, and a guest cottage. R. Pats isn't there anymore, but I bet that was probably one of the best places ever to get away from everything for a while. And I think that Reese Witherspoon totally deserves the Friend of the Year award, so snaps for her. Alright, it's official. Taylor Swift is dating 18-year-old Connor Kennedy, yes, Kennedy, as in the son of Robert Kennedy Jr. and the late Mary Richardson Kennedy. Just last month, there was speculation that Swift was dating Kennedy's cousin, Patrick Schwarzenegger, after they were seen hugging over 4th of July weekend at the Kennedy compound in Hy Hyannisport, Massachusetts. Blah, 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 blah. Oops, wrong family member. <laughs> so, Swift was back at the compound last weekend and was spotted hanging out with her new boy toy, Connor. I guess we know who the, the subject of Tay Tay's next breakup songs will be. It's a spoiler alert for the next album. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest. She writes a lot of songs about her exes. So, funny man Vince Vaughn is bringing back one of America's favorite sitcoms, Charles in Charge. Just kidding, but that is a great one. <laughs> so, Vaughn is going to be the executive producer of a reboot of The Brady Bunch for CBS. This version follows a similar format, with a divorced dad marrying a woman with her own children, but this time around, the couple will also have their own child together. And their exes are still going to be in the picture. So this series will be written by Raising Hope's Mike Mariano and son of the original Brady Bunch creator Sherwood Schwartz, I can't say that, will also be serving as an executive producer. I'm not really sure how I feel about this yet. Um, I'm not really into reboots usually, but I think a lot's going to depend on the casting and the writing. So it's day five of competition at the Olympics, and there's already been a fair share of drama. Obviously, I can't talk about everything that's happened, so here are some of the quick highlights. After a wishy-washy start, swimmer Michael Phelps won his 19th medal yesterday, making him the most decor decorated Olympian of all time. Yay, Michael! Alright, also for the USA, the women's gymnastics team, now known as the Fab Five, blew away the competition last night and won the gold medal, making them only the second U.S. women's team to win the Olympic team title. And finally, badminton has unexpectedly moved into the spotlight, but not for a good reason. Four doubles teams were disqualified from the games for trying to throw matches to gain a more favorable place in the tournament. Two of the teams are from South Korea, and there's also one each from China and Indonesia. I'm glad that these teams were thrown out because I think what they did is really wrong and immoral. And I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comments because... I do. So, that's all for today, but please join me on Saturday when I count down the top 10 stories of the week, only on Hollywood Chat.